Hey guys, this is Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. With Premier League Tots coming this weekend, I want to take a look at some of the best investments you can make for the market rising later on this week and stuff that we saw last year that I think is going to be replicated this year with a lot of Premier League special cards in this game rising up. I think it's a great opportunity to make coins and also buy players for your team for cheap, use them in Weekend League and sell them at a higher price before the Weekend League is over. So I want to talk about that. Again, Premier League Tots this Friday, the most hyped weekend of Team of the Season in my opinion because you have the biggest league and the most juiced up cards, the biggest names, it's going to be awesome, right? So we're very excited for it and the market is very excited for it too because you can tell right now as things are just kind of sitting, right? The content's been okay. It just feels like we haven't fully unleashed team of the season. Like community tots was the appetizer, if you will. But I'm going to take a look and show you some graphs from last year to show you what kind of cards went up a lot and what cards we can invest in this year and what types of cards we can be looking at in the next couple of days also talk about buy time and the sell time. So we're going to be rolling back the clocks to last year in FIBA 20 and taking a look at the community team this season side and talk about this first because right now, of course, we have community team this season going on and some of these cards from this year's TOTS community are going to rise this weekend as they go out of packs. Of course, two major risers last year, Zaha and Joe Gomez. Now, technically, Anderson, uh, Felipe Anderson rose up pretty nicely as well. But the three things those cards have in common, Premier League links, right? That's why those cards rose. And they were a lot cheaper than the majority of the brand new Premier League team of the season. When these guys come on the market, they're going to be very, very expensive. So maybe somebody can go out and buy one or two of these cards to try. Then they have to fill out the rest of their team with other cheaper options. And that's where you see a lot of the special cards really rise up on the market. So taking a look at um, Community Tots last year, and just why did Gomez, Zaha, and Felipe Anderson rise so much? It was literally that. These were pretty cheap last year compared to where the uh, new Premier League tots were when they came out. And also, there was a lack of center backs. For Joe Gomez specifically, the rise on this card was nuts, right? You, you see this rise. This guy went down to 1.1 million coins basically this exact day, Wednesday and Thursday of last year, and exploded to 1.6 mil that you know, three, four days later with the Premier League Tots coming out and only having Van Dyke and Soyuncu as center backs. Now this year for Premier League Tots, you know, I don't know how many center backs there's going to be, but wherever there is a lack, kind of how we saw last weekend with the Community Tots being released, there weren't a lot of strikers in here. We have Ilicic in the team, we have Moise Keen and Eduard, but we don't have like, you know, a beast striker. A lot of the better cards were midfielders and defenders. So you saw a lot of the meta strikers elsewhere on the game continue to rise. That could be a thing with center backs this week again for Premier League Toss, depending on who comes out and who's released. Um, so I do like some of the Prem center backs right now, like inform Kyle Walker, inform Joe Gomez. Um, some of those cards that are on the game, I think there's potential for these cards to rise up a lot. Maybe not as much as Joe Gomez, but still a potential to rise. And then just a lot of your Premier League out-of-pack specials in general just exploded. Let's take a look at a few more of these. Mason Greenwood, right? Right before Team of the Season Prem comes out on May 1st last year, 560k in rewards day, boom, 640,000 coins on Saturday. Tamori, this guy was a huge riser. Again, we talked about the lack of center backs. Tamori was 380,000 coins, went to 470. Then the next weekend went to 5. 90. Crazy, crazy rise for this Tomori card. Again, rare out-of-pack special and demand for that position in that league, causing these players to go super duper high. Bruno Fernandez, winter refresh, 500,000 coins, 498, goes up to almost 600K on that Friday night into Saturday. Huge rise on that card because he didn't get a team of the season. And then one interesting thing I want to look at here is cards that actually got team of the season cards, their other specials did incredibly incredibly well and i think this is partially due to the fact that these cards were sold off a little bit like people knew mars probably was getting a tots card right or people knew sun was probably getting a tots card last year so you saw a little bit of selling the week leading up to prem tots but then you see a lot of hype being brought to that player when they get that team of the season card released you say wow that card is sick, makes you just want to use Premier League cards and makes you just want to use that card itself. Even if you can't afford the big one, you can go out and afford a smaller one, a lesser rated version. So this Sun went from 726 to 880. Huge, huge rise there. I bought this Mars last year. I remember looking at this card on Friday. Now, when we talk about buying time for this stuff, a lot of you guys might be like, hey, do I need to buy this before rewards? 
I don't think you have to. And we'll talk about that in a second. I bought a lot of these cards on Friday, literally Friday morning in the panic selling before Prem Tots. I was buying this Mars. I think at like 240, 250. Uh, even though it says his price on Friday was 280, there was a lot of panic selling that morning. And then boom, he goes from 240, 250 all the way to 326. Huge rise on that Mars. Now, what do these cards have in common? Premier League, out of pack specials, meta and rare. These shapeshifters were very rare last year. So were these future stars. That's why you saw such the big, huge price rise on Tamori. So always keep those things in mind when you're looking at cards this year. Now, one thing I want to point out too is it's not just Prem. We focus on the Prem specials, but anything that is meta, look at this. This Atal went from 580 up to 650, 630, 640. So that's a card that will rise as well. I mean, Atal's for birthday card this year is even more meta than this one. And of course, you have the links to like full birthday Renato Sanchez. So I still think you're going to see other meta cards that aren't Premier League rise up just if, of course, if they're super meta. Now, one thing we have to take into account is not all special cards rose. Premier League midfielders last year did not rise on the Premier League team of season Friday because you had an SBC that was released for Willifred and Didi's team of the season card. Now, I don't know if it shows in here or not. Uh, it does not. They did not show in Didi inside the Prem Tots team, I don't think, um, on Footbin. But all of the center defensive mids, if you go out and take a look at those prices from last year, like this David Luiz, May 1st, he literally didn't even move. He went from 830 to 840 because that team of the season in Diddy car was a very cheap SBC that a lot of people went out and did. So that kind of hurt that rise. That's your literally, in my opinion, your only risk with this year is what's going to be happening with the SBC player that comes out. Now, of course, that's why we're going to diversify, right? We're going to buy some strikers. We're going to buy some center backs. We're going to buy some midfielders. So yeah, maybe some of your cards... Uh, they do get hurt a little bit by whatever SBC comes out. That might not happen this year. They might release an SBC that people don't like as much. But last year, that Ndidi SBC really affected the center mid and CDM part of the market because it was a very good value card, really good stats, and it was cheap. So, And it was meta as well. People just could insert that card into their teams. Now, luckily, there's tons of specials. There's more special cards than ever this year, which honestly, for me, just means that there's more of a chance that you could find a card and find a place on the market where you, where you could make some coins on this Friday night. Now, again, the market's going to rise Friday night because just like we saw last week with Community Team this season, a lot of cards, um, of course, people open up their saved up packs, they open lightning rounds, so they get coins. And then boom, these prices just start flying uh, because they have coins and they want to go try out these new TOTS cards and link them together in teams. And that's why these Premier League cards do go up. Now, one also quick note, it doesn't you don't have to buy just Premier League cards, right? We looked at a tall. There was other stuff that's going to go up on the market too. Even base Mbappe, base Neymar, these cards rose a healthy bit on that Friday night base mid icons prime prime icon moments as well just like we saw last week on friday night when the market boomed it was all across the game so i do think that you can still look at baby icons mid icons like this maradona went from 1.3 mil uh to 1.4 very easily on that friday night of premier league team this season so let's talk about this year right and let's start with talking about this year with the community tots cards because Juan Bisaka. And Dombele, Barnes, potentially, potentially Areola. I'm not so sure about him. But these main three Premier League cards are going to be cards that drop down in price in the next day or so with, of course, pack supply from UEFA marquee matchups, pack supply from regular marquee matchups, and rewards and the guaranteed Community Tots SBC whenever that's going to be released. There's going to be a window in the next day or two specifically for these Community Cards if you see their prices take a hit, right? Juan Bisaka was 535,000 coins at like his lowest and Domley was like 270. Barnes is like 450. Barnes is very, very rare and I feel like this card is undervalued. I know he doesn't have the best body type, but that is a player that a lot of people will see on FIFA and be like, man, I want to get involved. So all I'm saying is I think if these three cards reach a low, I think they could be good buys. Now, I think some of the other parts of the Community Tots team like Alaba, Mukiele, Taglifico, Valverde, they can rise out of packs as well. But if you focus on those Premier League cards, that's where a lot of the hype could be, of course, with this weekend being Prem Tots. So watch these cards over the next 24 to 36 hours for a potential time to buy them. If you do see a price drop, people are going to be quick to invest in this stuff. And that's one kind of thing I'll throw into the wind as a caution right now is people are going to be very quick to buy up these Premier League out of packs 
going to be a very, very popular investment. Uh, and that's why I'm going to wait a little bit longer because I want to see what comes out content wise on Friday. If you want to start buying this stuff now, if the prices are very low, like if you see this Adama at like 650, right? That to me is low enough that I would just buy it and I would say, I don't care what's going to happen on Friday. I'm just going to buy it. Now, I do think there will be some panic selling as we get into Friday. Last year there was, and that's where I bought all of my cards last year that I flipped, right? I bought Tamori last year. I bought that Mars I was showing you. I bought a lot of cards. I bought the Sun as well. Those cards I actually bought on Friday, and they were some of the lowest prices we had seen all of that week leading up to Prem Tot. So I do feel like there is going to be some more panic, of course, with leaks that will come out because there are going to be inevitably some leaks about Team of the Season cards that do come out, and that hype is really going to start building. So you might see a few people selling cards even after the content drop, like we saw last week with Community. People saw the new cards that came out, and they said, hey, I'm going to sell something so that I can go and try out one of those new players because these guys are pretty cheap. So still, I would look at prices now because if there's stuff that is low, I still think you can make a buy. And I think there will be prices that you can tap into. Like this what if Conte card. Conte is probably not getting a team of the season, right? Um, and it's Conte. 859,000 coins. I mean, this guy's been closer to 900,000 coins. He was 947 this morning. This guy's actually down a lot today. Is this uh, Was he selling at 950 last night? 929, 944, 929. It's Conte, right? He's going to sell 930. So like this Conte card right now is not that bad of a deal. If we look on his daily graph or what was he on Monday? He was 830, 860. So like this card for Conte right now, 859, that's not a bad price at all. That'd be a price that if, you know, I've got a couple million coins just ready to go for some of this stuff later on this week, that's a price that I would find right now. And I'd say, hey, you know what? I'm totally fine with it. Now, is he actually 859? He is not. See, that was a nice undercut on the market, and he's actually 940K. So, unfortunately, that is not there. But if that was there, I would be snagging it because that would be a, a great scenario of that card is just too cheap right now compared to where he was. So, look across this game, right? Again, you want to diversify your investments between attackers, midfielders, defenders, because if some objective or SBC comes out that is a really meta card, that's going to make people go different ways as well. And maybe use that card that comes out instead of an out of pack special. Um, so kind of keep that in mind too. Um, but I'm really going to be focusing on Premier League. I like this Bergwijn card a lot. I really do. I think that's a card that is going to do very well. Left mid, I like the Sun headliner card because again, some of the cards that rose the most last year were cards that they actually had a team of the season themselves. And the uh, team of the season card was very expensive. This is Sun's best card this year. Still an awesome card. Four star skills, five star weak foot. You know, his Tots card could be somewhere around 1.8 to 2 million coins first day, depending on the position and the stats, of course. So this card being only 300,000 coins and a very rare item at that, uh, you know, he rose up a decent amount this weekend. If I can see this at like 320 or lower, you're already starting to see some of this stuff, you know, go up in price a little bit. So I'm going to be waiting until that Friday time frame. I think, unless there's some sort of panic before them, then to get in on some of this stuff, just because I want to wait it out. And if I miss out on some prices, then you know what I do, but there's going to be plenty of deals on Friday. And that's why I'm going to be waiting just to minimize my risk and also so that I can trade with other things before we get there. But if you see low prices again, like that Conte that we were talking about, or um, even like yesterday, Freeze Money was 860K and now he's 955. So people got involved with that. That is already inflated already with an investment. Um, you know, St. Maxman, his Freeze card looks kind of low right there. That could be a situation. Um, this Bruno card would be a good one. This Rashford would be a good one. Even this KDB, right? Uh, a lot of these cards are going to rise, in my opinion. Of course, make sure that it's popular, it's meta. This Sissoko card, these Road to the Finals are so rare. They're going to be great, great, great buys, in my opinion. So, as you're taking a look across the market, watch for prices over the next couple of days and just go for cards that are really hyped up that you see a lot in people's teams when you're playing Weekend League, right? Kyle Walker, no center back that gets released during Premier League team this season. It's going to have 93 pace like this guy has, right? So this is a card that I think will do pretty well. Also, probably going to be invested in, right? Five-star skills, Lucas Mora. Foot birthday cards are going to be banging. Premier League foot birthday cards are going to do great because they have those weak foot and skill move upgrades. And these guys are very, very rare. And they're also pretty new to the game. Freeze cards I like. I mean, even this ASM Inform I'm a big fan of. I think he could rise. Even this Harry Kane Rule Breakers card, depending on how the tots looks, this might get sold off, but again, this is the best version of Harry Kane in the game, apart from maybe what his team this season looks like. 
and this one has like the huge agility balance boost so if you want to use kane and son in fifa or you know depending on what his tots card looks like if how expensive it is that could be a good buy. I think Zadama Traore is going to be a smashing buy as well. I think he's going to go up a lot. The Saka should be pretty good. Salah's definitely getting a team of the season. So we'll watch for panic selling on this item and then possibly a bounce back because I think Salah's Tots card is going to be very high rated and it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. And if they upgrade his weak foot to a four-star weak foot, that would be insane. And I think it would make it more expensive and just draw a lot of hype to this Salah. So basically... What I'm going to be looking for for buy time is over the next couple of days into Friday, but I'm probably going to end up making some of my buys on Friday morning with the panic selling either before content or even after content. And then sell time for a lot of this stuff is going to be later. It's going to be later on Friday night or Saturday. If you want to buy cards for your team this weekend, you can buy them, of course, you know, in this time frame with the panic selling or if prices get too low before Friday and then sell them on Saturday, maybe when your games are done. Then after that, I think you'll see cards slide downwards out of the weekend league because again, Premier League tots, everybody's going to want to do upgrade packs and SBCs and participate in that content. So that is one thing I will say about that. Um, is that if you do want to buy cards and make coins this weekend, it's going to be a great opportunity. But I also feel like there is going to be some sort of um, part to the market this weekend that is going to drop off afterwards. So it's not like these cards are going to go up and stay high. It's probably like they're going to go up. They're going to come down again. People are going to do upgrade packs. And then next weekend, the stuff will go back up again on the weekend because people are going to be buying cards again to play weekend league with the TOTS cards in rewards. You know, there's going to be a lot of hype for these first few weekends, especially this weekend. That's what's really driving the market up on Friday night is going to be that extra demand for the weekend league. So that's one thing, of course, that timing is that Friday night, Saturday morning time frame is going to be the highest that a lot of these cards get, in my opinion. Again, of course, if you're looking through what specials, what cards should I buy? Again, big names, rarity, and just good looking cards, right? Meta looking cards, depending on what happens with UCL today, this Gabriel Jesus, if PSG win, this card could be a smashing buy, right? 91 pace striker with 90 shooting, 93 dribbling. If this guy drops off like 40, 50K because the city lose today, um, you know, and the potential of this card to get upgraded is no longer there, that would be a card I would still 100% look into um, for a potential buy for links, right? A lot of Man City players are going to be in the team. And uh, this is just, you know, a card that a lot of people might want to use. So just kind of keep an eye on some of that stuff today as well. Looks like we got another sale. Is it Garincha? It was get into 670 GG's. So we're going to be keep messing around on the market, flipping some cards. We've got guaranteed tots for the community coming very soon. It's going to be a very interesting couple, actually like day for these cards right here, because there's a lot of people that are going to want to buy these out of packs, I think, uh, because these are going to be pretty cheap compared to what the Prem Tots looks like. So I'm going to keep my eyes on Wambasaka and Dombele and Barnes, of course, even some of the other cards as well. Keep an eye on those in the next 24 to 36 hours. But that should be a lot of information for you guys to help you think through some decisions about what cards you would want to buy for a rise on Friday night. Again, you can look at the entire market, but the Premier League specials are probably the place to go because that's where most people are going to be looking to buy teams and we'll see a nice market rise there. So if this video helped you at all, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions about players to buy or whatever. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.